Foxy family, welcome them back to my channel. Today I'm doing a different kind of video today and I'm gonna be showing you how I make my Harley Quinn baseball bat. I will have a tutorial up very soon for the makeup for this, but right now we're gonna go with the bat. So I'm going to be taking a wooden bat. Now this is just a Louisville slugger bat and I am starting off by putting the tape on. Now I measured this based on um, what I saw from Kevin Smith's photo um, of giving his daughter the baseball bat. Um, her one single hand was in the very middle of the um, tape and it looked like there were two hands worth beside it. So I basically measured out three hand uh, full, I guess, uh, hand grips on the baseball bat and put a little mark so I knew where to stop. And what I am using here is um, it's surgical tape, I believe. Um, you can get regular baseball bat tape. Uh, this is just what I had laying around the house and it has the um, a very similar uh, look so I'm starting off with that now I am wrapping this at an angle as you can see there's like an air pocket of fabric or of tape here and that's going to help give some texture so you can just fold that on over and it's going to help give texture to that tape so that it looks more like a grip and you're just going to begin wrapping that all the way around at an angle, all the way up to our mark that we have placed, and then basically you're going to um, wrap it back down again. signature Harley Quinn design here. Again, it looked like it was about a handful, maybe a little bit, um, maybe a little bit bigger than a hand grip. So I basically did a hand grip and then a half an inch above where my hand was gripping, above the tape. And basically what I'm doing here is taking some scotch tape and I'm going to go a little bit above where the tape, um, bottom tape lies and then where my mark for the end of our design is going to be. And that way I'm just leaving some space or room for um, the darker color bands that are going to go around the baseball bat itself. So I'm just taking tape here and kind of taping this off and then I'm going to do it again on the other side. going to begin uh, helping ourselves with the design. It's going to be a little bit difficult to just freehand the um, lines, but you're going to make diamond shapes and basically I'm taking tape and crisscrossing it to help guide me make these crisscross diamond shapes. And so I'm taking the tape um, from one side and putting it in, at an angle and then taking the connecting tape to this side, leaving like a slight bit of a gap. You see here, I'm showing you with my fingers. Um, instead of a straight V, you're gonna want a V with a little bit of a um, top to it. And we're going to place the tape on the other side at an angle. And you're basically creating a V shape in between these two pieces of tape. It's so hard for me to describe this. I feel so stupid sitting here trying to describe this to you. But um, hopefully the visual is a lot more helpful than me talking. So now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm basically just going to etch out here um, along the side of the tape so that I can um, go ahead and finish the rest of the design and um, go in with a sharpie here in a moment. Now I am just measuring out um, a straight line. I want to make sure I get this straight um, so that the, the points of the diamond match up. And I am placing a piece of tape and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just making that um, diamond shaped design, making sure I have it straight and uh, we're going to pencil that off as well. And um, I got three uh, diamonds worth out of my bat. Um, I was able to fit three different diamonds on my bat. Um, it doesn't have 
to be perfect, okay? I struggled a little bit with trying to get it perfect and I finally was just like, okay, it's just not gonna happen. I would have to mathematically measure this out. So it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but just map out your little diamond shapes and then we're going to go in with a red uh, Sharpie first and then a blue Sharpie here in just a moment for the inner diamonds So for the outer diamonds, I'm just going to fill in and uh, fill it in with the red here And then in a moment, we're going to do the blue diamonds portion filled in now what we need to do is fill in the blue now I'm just gonna leave a tiny bit of space like an eighth of an inch um, uh, worth of space in between the red and the blue because uh, that's how it is on her bat so I'm gonna leave a little gap of space um, but then I am going to create a diamond shape in the center of this red diamond Don't worry um, if it's not perfect at first. There's a lot of holes because of the grain of the wood. Um, I go back later and basically um, go over everything one more time and make sure everything's nice and filled in. So now we're gonna remove our tape and we've got nice, crisp, clean lines. And I'm gonna take another bit of tape and we're going to make um, another band around. And this is going to be our outer portion bands. They're a little bit of a deeper, darker red. taking maroon and red sharpies uh, also you're gonna need a brown here in a moment and my maroon sharpie actually ended up being my brown sharpie <laughs> so I had to go back and find a different maroon sharpie um, but we're gonna do the maroon layer first and then the red and then the brown I did some testing to try to mix this color so that it would appear pretty perfect without being a weird shade of red um, and this method uh, happened to work the best so I did a maroon first and then we go over it with the red and then brown last and that's gonna give you a nice deep rich red brown without looking too just straight up brown Also, I want to mention really quick, it helps a lot to let the Sharpie actually fully dry in between. Um, if not, it kind of rubs the other Sharpie off if your bat has any sort of gloss on it. So um, keep that in mind. Now I'm going to basically just map out um, my space for my letters. Here I have a printed off sheet of the same style lettering that's on the bat. Um, and I just kind of got the gist for the size of the letters that I'm going to need. And basically just taking that um, surgical tape here and I'm creating a box for myself. A to keep my lines straight and B so that I don't um, kind of venture outside of the box any I keep all my letters relatively the same size now I am going to freehand this on you have the total option of going with a stencil um, I had a hard time making the stencil for my bat so I decided to freehand this myself um, but if you can find um, that exact um, writing or it's not you know imperative to you that you have the exact same writing um, that is on the actually Harley Quinn bat you can use a different stencil um, for me I just freehanded it I will leave a link down below where you can get the um, exact script that is used on the bat I will say you will have to manipulate it um, slightly with the width and the height to get it perfect um, but it is definitely doable and um, basically I did it in pencil first and now I am outlining it with a sharpie uh, the, the drawing it on with a pencil first I highly suggest because I messed up a lot I did have to erase and things so um, I definitely would suggest mapping it out first and then going in with your sharpie uh, once you are finished so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish outlining these letters and uh, we're gonna get to the next part in a second Uh, coffee break <laughs> So 
now we have the outline completely finished and you leave a little bit of space. I actually made my band a little bit too big. Um, it's not quite matching up with the original picture, but um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you might want to leave a little bit more space there um, if you're wanting it to look exactly like the actual bat. Um, now I am going in with a red Sharpie and I'm going to begin filling in the letters, uh, all, all the stuff that I have just outlined we're going to now put red in. brown sharpie and the letters on the original bat like the one from the uh, Suicide Squad movie um, you can see the letters kind of look burnt in almost almost as if they were etched or um, burned into the bat first and then painted over so basically what I'm doing is taking this brown and kind of making the letters look a little bit more um, realistic or burnt into the bat as opposed to just sitting on top of the bat being drawn on um, looks almost more like it was burnt in or um, painted on so I'm just kind of giving some dimension to those letters and some some shades and and this is what it looks like when we are done now I am taking this thing um, which actually I believe is from one of the comics um, it says you lock up the weirdos the crooks and the geeks um, you're a hero to all the boys in blue but this time putting the jokes on you. Um, again, I will have that down in the description bar if you want the exact quoting, because um, I may or may not have just butchered that. I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna take this um, saying with a Sharpie, and um, using the thicker Sharpie first, because I, um, I liked the look of the thicker lettering down below, and then uh, in a moment, you'll see me use a smaller Sharpie for a little bit above, but you're just gonna write this over and over. I put a lot of um, ha-ha-has in there, um, just kind of do your own thing here. I'm not 100% sure what is on the bat, but I know at the very bottom that is what it says. So I just basically repeated the same thing over and over on the bat so that um, we had a lot of things to fill it in and um, it is it is true to the actual bat from the movie because that's what it says. So um, I'm going to take a red Sharpie now and kind of highlight some letters, underline some letters. Uh, or words and scratch them out. There's a lot of red um, throughout the real bat and so I just want to mimic that so I'm just outlining puddin a lot, um, crossing out like boys in blue, um, underlining some things like crooks um, and geeks and um, just kind of play with it and you, you'll get a feel for what you want to do here and what looks good. So I just added some red highlights and then now I am taking the smaller Sharpie, um, our fine point Sharpie, and I'm writing the same thing on one side, um, just smaller. And then um, this is up by the D letter of good. And then on the other side, I just wrote a bunch of ha ha's. <laughs> I thought it looked pretty good in the end. So this is our bat, this is our finished bat, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, you liked the tutorial and uh, keep an eye out for this makeup look. Um, this is going to be my entry into my NYX Face Awards. I'm so excited for it. I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.